Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Smoke is one of my favorite characters from Mortal Kombat 9. He was recruited by the Lin Kuei and has no memories of his past. Surprisingly, he's not the main character of the series considering the fact that almost every main character can't remember their past. But anyways, today I'll be showing you all 10 awesome facts that you probably didn't know about Smoke. So sit back, Smoke, and let's begin. Number 10. Smoke made his first appearance in Mortal Kombat 2. You could see him peeking behind a tree in the Living Forest stage, including Jade at times. Smoke was considered to be a sacred character that you could fight, and in order to do this you had to fight in the portal stage and perform an uppercut on the opponent until Dan Perdane pops out saying toasty. After you see him, quickly press down and star at the same time. Then a message will appear and you will be transported to either Goro's Lair if you're playing on the arcade version, or the portal stage with the blue colored background if you're playing the game on the Sega Genesis. Number 9. In Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you can actually choose to play as Human Smoke even though he doesn't appear in the character select screen until Mortal Kombat Trilogy. All you have to do is at the character select screen choose Smoke, then press High Punch, High Kick, Block, Run, and Hold Left until the match begins. The second player can do the same, but hold right instead of left to make it work. Number 8. Supposedly Smoke makes a cameo in the movie Wreck-It Ralph as one of the characters in the background with the bad guys. This could be true as there are other video game characters from actual franchises as well. So even though the ninja in the room could be just a simple ninja from a random game, there is another character next to him that resembles another Mortal Kombat character, Kano. But even he also looks slightly different from his regular appearances in MK series. Here he is shown to have a robotic arm, something Kano does not have. So maybe it is Smoke and Kano, or maybe Shinobi. But it's weird that they're the only ones who look different and the rest of the cameos look identical to their video game appearances. Chances are that they didn't get the approval from NetherRealm Studios or they didn't bother to ask because I'm sure they'd be okay with it. Number 7. In Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, since the game is based on the events from Mortal Kombat 2, Smoke makes an appearance in the Living Forest, the same area where he's found in Mortal Kombat 2. However, instead of fighting you, he will have 5 tasks that you can do which will unlock secrets that should help you out in the game, like extra points or fatalities. But if you complete all 5 quests, then you will unlock the arcade game of Mortal Kombat 2. Now that's awesome. Number 6. Smoke's alternate costume in Mortal Kombat Deception had a lot of fans debating whether it was his human form because he was mostly covered in smoke, but it isn't. Otherwise, why else would he be wearing his cybernetic mask? And although alternate costumes in Mortal Kombat don't necessarily have to make sense like Liu Kang's alternate being his human form, it still doesn't look like Smoke's alternate costume to be his human form. And if so, it's pretty damn disappointing in comparison to his human form in MK9 or even his original appearance in MK2. Number 5. Smoke's real name has been revealed to be Thomas Verbata, if I'm saying it correctly. This was shown in the bio card from Mortal Kombat 9. It also says that he is from Prague, and he is Zech. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing these correctly. Let me know in the comments if I am way off. Number 4. Smoke may not have appeared as a playable character in Mortal Kombat X, but to our surprise, he made a cameo appearance in a fatality. This faction kill fatality is called Smoke's Revenge, and any member of the Lin Kuei has a chance to summon Smoke as their opponent's Grim Reaper. It's both really cool to see this, but it's also damn well disappointing to be reminded that Smoke isn't a playable character, because I'm sure Smoke gained a lot of new MK fans because of his kick-ass design and fatalities in Mortal Kombat 9. I guess in a way you could count Triborg as plain as Smoke, for now. Number 3. In Mortal Kombat Deception and Unchained, Smoke was partnered with Noob Saibot sharing the same life bar. It was an awesome concept, but the reason why this happened started because John Tobias had left the Mortal Kombat team, and that meant for some reason that that affected the use of Noob Saibot's name, no longer having Saibot in it because Saibot is Tobias backwards. And that was the reason why it's not Noob Saibot and Smoke, but instead Noob Smoke. Number 2. Smoke's ending from Mortal Kombat Armageddon is quite hectic. If you've seen the previous Cyborg Armageddon endings, you know that they all have a unique description of what happens if they defeat Blaze. And as for Smoke, after he defeats Blaze, his nanotechnology gains the power of Blaze and they begin to multiply non-stop until it all ends up consuming all of Edenia. His nanotechnology was already far advanced to the point that it would constantly repair and alter any sort of damage that Smoke would take. And after it consumed Edenia, it transformed the Edenian realm into a mass of sentient grey material that calls itself smoke. 
Number one, in Mortal Kombat Conquest, in the episode known as The Serpent and the Ice, the episode is about Sub-Zero and Scorpion forming an alliance to take down Kung Lao. But as you all know, these two have become deadly enemies since the beginning, and they end up trying to kill each other in the process of doing so. Sub-Zero then discovers the family he was taken away from as a child, and then he defies the Lin Kuei and becomes a traitor to them. By the end of the episode, the Lin Kuei summons someone strong enough to take down Sub-Zero. This ends up being Smoke. The episode ends with actual Smoke forming together revealing the ninja Smoke. But sadly, Smoke was planned to appear in the second season to tie in with this episode, but the series was cancelled by the end of the first season, and we never got to see Smoke fully appear and take on his best friend, Sub-Zero. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, share with others, and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to notify you of every new video that gets uploaded to the channel. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, check out the link in the description, and follow me on Twitter to find out which videos are up next. Anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow, and remember to have an awesome day.